Well, I want to first of all thank all of y'all for turning out today. And Come on, football team, y'all. <laughs> Let's give a big hand for these athletes that showed up today. Appreciate that. Our, uh, this is a big day for Angelo State. We've waited a long time to be able to play football on our own campus. And uh, we still got a long way to go. But uh, this is kind of a beginning of the beginning, let's so, so to speak. But it started out with uh, Coach Wagner. He told me a couple years ago, he said, you know, we need to play our own on our own campus. I just couldn't imagine, you know, the feeling that it would create by being on your own campus to having your own field, to be able to block off Jackson Street and walk over here. Um, that was something I, could, I, I really didn't have a really good concept of. But it started and then the drought got worse. And that really was the driver. We didn't have the ability to water our fields, especially on practice fields. And we had an incredible amount of investment in these student athletes, not only for their, their ability to play correctly, but also to, for their safety. And uh, we wanted to be able to keep them as safe as possible. And so it became paramount. And we had some people who, st who stepped up. And uh, we had uh, several donors. And uh, some of them remain anonymous. But I know that the Health Foundation was one of the ones that stepped up. But then I, uh, Kevin Pepper and myself, we, we made a trip over to First Community Credit Union. And uh, we sat down with Bill Nicolock, and uh, we sat down there in Vicky Loso, and we said, you know, we need turf on this practice field. And I said, I can tell you what, if you'll help us get this turf, we'll play at least what, one football game a year for the rest of the time that it's here. And he looked at us and he said, Bill has always been a big supporter as well as Vicky of, of our athletic programs. He said, you know, I'll just do that. And that was a, a huge commitment. And I know when we walked out, Kevin Pepper said, well, I'm going to bring you on every one of my stops. But uh, without, without Bill Nicolock, it just wouldn't have been possible in First Community Credit Union. But all of them were important. But I can tell you, it's something that we want to keep going and we're going to cut the ribbon on another facility before too long and we will we don't want to stop until all these facilities have turf and we we need that for our athletic program and to keep our athletic programs at the, with the best facilities the best coaches and the best athletes possible well now what i would like to do is introduce uh ken hance when we joined the Texas Tech system seven years ago, just prior to that, Ken Hans had become chancellor at Texas Tech. He became chancellor on December the 1st, 2006. He is the chief executive officer of all the campuses, at Texas Tech, Angelo State, and the Health Science Center, both at Lubbock and El Paso. His priorities are growing enrollment, increasing research, and technology technology commercialization and he recently completed a one billion dollar capital campaign at the Texas Tech University system. The Chancellor is also an incredible lobbyist for legislative affairs for the entire system both in Austin and Washington DC. He earned his bachelor's degree from Texas Tech in 65. He graduated from Tech Law School in 68 and he returned, I'm mean, excuse me, the UT Law School in 1968. And then he returned to Lubbock to, to practice law and teach business law at Texas Tech. And in 1973, was named the outstanding professor at Texas Tech. So he has academic experience as well. He began a career in politics and he won a seat in the Texas Senate in 74. And while in the Senate, he served on both the finance and state affairs. Four years later, he became a, a congressman 
a House member from the 19th District. In 1981, he authored in one passage of the President Reagan tax cut. While a member of Congress, he served on Ways and Means, the Ag Committee, which is, I think, the most important committee, Science and Technology. And after Congress, Hans won election to the Texas Railroad Commission. And as I said before, he came from a suburb of Sudan called Demet, Texas. And he, is, he and his wife, Susie Hans, who is also an attorney, have five children and seven grandchildren. And I can tell you that if it weren't for Chancellor Hans, a lot of these things wouldn't be possible. I know I wouldn't be standing here. And please help me give him a big San Angelo welcome, the Chancellor of the Texas Tech University System, Kent Hans. Thank you very much, Dr. May. Uh, we appreciate you and uh, good to see these athletes and the band and the cheerleaders and boy it takes me back to my days playing in Demet and uh, we'd always play uh, Sudan for a warm-up because they were so easy and, you know one time uh, players you like this uh, they had me back running back punts and uh, I signaled for a fair catch I'd watched it on Sundays and I signaled for the fair catch I caught it and laid the ball down it was beautiful my mother thought it was great and the coach grabbed me when I came over, and he said, what the heck were you doing? I'm changing language a little. And uh, I said, I signaled for a fair catch and caught it. He said, but you're on the three-yard line. <laughs> and I said, I thought. And he said, every time you think, you cost us 15 yards. And uh, so I started listening after that rather than thinking. Uh, this is a beautiful setting, and it's going to be a great place to play football. I tell you, we put in some additional stands. It will be noisy over here. Uh, and, and this will show uh, what, uh, what, it, what happens when you have good neighbors and good corporate citizens like community. Uh, they have really helped us. They've done a great job, and I want to say a special thank you to them. I also want to uh, introduce one of our uh, members of the Board of Regents. Uh, John Steinmetz is here. John, stand up. John, at the present time, uh, he is the uh, uh, youngest uh, member of a Board of Regents in the state of Texas, and that uh, he was president of the student body at Texas Tech in 2001, 2002. And uh, so he's in his early 30s, is doing a great job. And John Steinmetz, uh, uh, we appreciate your taking time off as president of Vista Bank in, uh, in Lubbock to come spend the day with us. And uh, this is not the first time he's done it. And, and uh, there's, Angelo State has added a lot to the Texas Tech system. And I'll tell you, we've had a 600% increase in spending on research at Angelo State. You know, you look at our facilities, you look at what we're doing, we're, we're a campus that when I got here, uh, pretty well everything shut down Friday afternoon till Monday morning. That's no longer true. And that uh, we're a full-time campus, uh, th this campus, and Angelo State has been rated uh, by Princeton Review uh, five of the last seven years as one of the top colleges uh, west of the Mississippi. And that's something to be proud of. And then no matter where you go, uh, getting a degree from Angelo State is a big plus for you. And it's a big plus for us to be here and help celebrate uh, this ribbon cutting. Uh, I wish the best to the Rams and all that you do. And I wish the best to the band and and uh, it's just fun to be here on a day like this because uh, ribbon cutting, when someone's donated and given of their time, the Health Foundation and, and community, I, I just, uh, you know, want to say that, that they could not have done a better job than, um, than what they've done uh, with this uh, turf. With, with the drought, we've got to have more turf. And uh, Community Federal Credit Union, uh, you're to be saluted for helping us out with this. Thank you very much. Well, it's a great day to be around and uh, I'm excited to be here. This is an off day for us and uh, I think it shows, you know, the commitment and, you know, the excitement 
that our players have to, to be here this afternoon for this. But uh, one other person I would like to thank is uh, Larry Clark. Uh, I had the chance to visit with him uh, two summers ago, and uh, he made a commitment to, uh, to help get this thing going uh, with his donation. And then the Health, the health uh, Foundation here in San Angelo uh, and all the support that they have done, not only for athletics, uh, but Angelo State University as well. And, and the last thanks I would like to give is to, uh, to Bill Nicolak and uh, First Community Credit Union. Uh, when I first started this job, I think it was the first week that I was here, uh, Bill showed up with the, uh, a check towards our scholarship fund. And, uh, you know, I had no idea who he was and uh, didn't know the relationship that we would develop over these last couple years. And, uh, not only am I grateful for his support in, in our program and, and athletics and here at Angelo State University, but I'm very fortunate to have him as a friend as well. Um, you know, the benefits that we will receive from this, uh, not only you know what Dr. May and, and Chancellor Hintz uh, spoke about with the drought, uh, this gives us a, a, a playing surface that will be constant year in and year out. Uh, the thing that you worry about on grass when the, uh, the water starts getting cut off is how hard it gets and you start worrying, worrying about your player's safety. Uh, so we feel good about this. Uh, and it allows us to come out here every day of the week, uh, no matter what. And uh, I know our players aren't excited about that because it could be a downpour and we could still be out here uh, getting things done. And so um, we'll see the benefits from that as well in off season when we can come out here and, and do some other stuff. Uh, you, you already see our track team uh, takes advantage of it. Our baseball team was on it last week. Uh, so so all of our sports will benefit uh, from this as well. Uh, and then I think another greater area that will benefit from it will be recruiting. Uh, we have one of the best facilities in the country right there in the Janelle Center. And this just adds to it. And so when we can bring recruits on campus and show them our weight room, our locker room, uh, talk about our, our practice fields, talk about playing a game here uh, at some point, uh, I think that just speaks about the commitment that not only do we have um, from the university, but for, uh, from also from the community. And so I think the parents and I think the players feel great about coming to Angelo State University because they know they're going to And I know that, they, um, believe that during their time here, um, there will be you know, facilities because that's the uh, commitment that we've made um, from our university. What's other? That's, um, we're, we're very excited about this, and I can't say that enough. We're very fortunate to, to have this commitment from our university. Um, it wouldn't be possible without First Community Credit Union. And uh, I'm very honored to introduce to you today uh, the man that uh, made it happen, um, a great supporter and a great friend, Bill Nicolot. You may wonder why I'm wearing a hat. First of all, it's a good looking hat. And second of all, I don't like the sun. So um, when I went to school back here in the 80s, we always wondered why we didn't get to play football on our own campus. And when we said we've got a chance to do that, we jumped at it. I'm glad we did. The field looks great. I hope you all have a great time on it. And next year when you play your first game here, I hope it's a good one. Thank you. I wanted the second speaker I was supposed to introduce, that was Will Wagner, our head football coach. I want y'all to know that. And uh, one thing I want to put Will on the spot in front of all of y'all, because I, I told him, now, can we play a game here? Will it be all right if we don't have a big press box for the coaches? And he said, yeah, up in Missouri, we put them up on scaffolding. I said, well, we'll just get some double deer blinds and we'll put them up here and we'll be fine. So I, that's what we're going to do, and I want y'all to remember that. He said it was okay to put deer blinds up here for a press box. So, but anyway, with that, I want y'all to meet a, a great friend of all of us and uh, doing a great job here, Sean Johnson, our athletic director. Good afternoon, everyone. Now, doesn't this look great? Does this field not look great or what? And by the way, I'm not, these are prescription glasses. I'm not trying to be cool. I've got a 14-year-old tells me every day I'm not cool, so I know that already. I want to thank you all for being here. Chancellor, for being here. Dr. May, of course. 
Uh, Regent Steinmetz, appreciate you being here. Student Regent Heimbecker, thank you. And our student body president, Preston Wimberly, appreciate you being here as well, sir. Uh, this is a great day for Angelo State and Angelo State Athletics. You know, this project to me represents what is great about ASU and what's great about San Angelo and the Concho Valley. It is an example of a dream becoming a reality because of the generosity of the individuals and the organizations in our community. You know, Bill Nicolai, First Community Federal Credit Union, I mean, we cannot thank you enough. And it's just, you know, we talk about this field and how important it is, but this, isn't, this hasn't been the beginning for Bill and everyone at First Community Federal Credit Union. They've done numerous projects for athletics over the years and been involved in an incredible amount of projects throughout the Concho Valley. So this is not a first for them. I won't be a last either. Vicki Ford and the San Angelo Area Health Foundation, you know, we appreciate and we thank you for recognizing a critical need for the health and safety of our student athletes. I want to thank Mr. Larry Clark. I know Larry could not be here today, but like Coach Wagner mentioned, I had the chance to meet Larry. He's a San Angelo native, a graduate of Central High School, an ASU graduate. Uh, he lives in Houston and I, just a great guy. And, and not only has he certainly helped with this project, but he's done a lot of great things for Angelo State University as well, outside of athletics. You know, my job as athletic director really is to make the job of our coaches and our student athletes as easy as possible. And this facility will help us recruit the best student athletes to come to ASU that will graduate, compete for championships, and give back to our community. Ultimately, the importance of this project and what it means is what it means to this group right here, our student athletes. It's not what it means to me or even the president or the chancellor or the coaches. It's what it means to this group of student athletes. I remember when we started putting the first strip of turf down. It was before one of our home games, and the guys were down there in the locker room, and they were looking out here. I mean, their eyes were so big, and they were so excited, you can't even imagine. So this is what it's really all about. It's about our student athletes. You know, we have the best coaching staff in Division II athletics, and we're well on our way to having the best facilities in all of Division II athletics with this tremendous addition to the Grand Sports Complex. In fact, the last upgrade to this facility before the field was, of course, made possible by great contributors, Dr. Bob and Jean-Ann Legrand. And this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Not far from where we're standing right now, we're getting ready to install turf at the ASU softball complex thanks to another great supporter of the university, Mr. Richard Meyer. Not only are we going to... Thank you, Richard. Not only are we going to use First Community Credit Union Field for practice, but as Dr. May mentioned and, Do and Coach Wagner mentioned, we're going to play our first home football game here in nearly 60 years. On September the 13th, next football season, 2014, we're going to host Western State of Colorado right here, and that's going to be an exciting day. You know, our department has enjoyed decades of success because of the tireless contributions of people like Phil George, Kathleen Brassfield, Jerry Vandegrift, Ed Messbarger, David Noble, and a gentleman that I'd like to recognize today, the coach of your 1978 national championship team, Coach Jim Hess. Coach, thank you for being here. You know, the next legendary group of coaches is here right now. Countless Lone Star Conference titles, made NCAA regional appearances, and they have two national championships underneath their belts already. With the continued improvement of our facilities through the efforts of our generous donors, we will add to that list of championship teams and community leaders. Thank you very much. And now we'd like to hand out some plaques to the Chancellor and to Dr. May and to Bill and to Vicki Ford from the uh, San Angelo Area Health Foundation. So if you'll come up and receive your plaques, please. These plaques actually have a piece of the turf that we used here on the field on the plaque. And without further ado, it's time to cut the ribbon.